The state education commissioner says students can follow the lead from teachers and school staff ready to handle this learning curve. I would just encourage the students to work with their school district as we work through this transition and know that the educators are there to try and help them, really help them and support them in what they're trying to do. Taking viewer questions live in studio, Frank Edelblue said community college systems, which are on break right now, are working on going to remote learning that residential schools can continue on their contained campuses and private schools are also taking action. Many of the uh, the private schools have adopted a practice that looks a lot like some of the, the way the, the public schools are doing it and switching to kind of remote instruction and remote support. He noted that some special education students may still receive in-person support at schools or be compensated for necessary services, that the state is working with cable providers to help students who need free Internet access, and says it's within CDC guidelines for a few students to work together if they practice safeguards like social distancing and hand washing. Maybe it's five or six students that are getting together and working on a project. So certainly when you add one child, it's going to increase the risk. But those smaller numbers are safe for students to be able to work together. The Department of Education website now has a help desk where you can submit your questions and get answers. We've provided a link to that on our website, WMUR.com.